Upon returning to campus for spring semester, students were alarmed to find that the much-loved womb chairs were missing in action from the Marriott Library's third floor. Students relied on the womb chairs as a way to lounge between classes and relax while enjoying the third-story view. I'm really sad to see them go. I went and looked for them, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're, they're nowhere to be found. So I was pretty disappointed when, when they got rid of them. It's been suspected that last fall's bed bug infestation was the reason behind the chair's disappearance. It is true that, those, that some of those chairs did have bed bugs in them, um, but that was not the primary reason why we decided to reevaluate our furniture situation. The new arrangement, which features more tables and easier access to outlets, was made because the library staff believes it is a better study setup for students. So they, there really was a high demand to have more group study space up on level three. So that was the primary reason that we decided that it was a good time to to move, move the womb chairs and sell some of them back to the general public. The chairs are now being auctioned off by the university surplus and salvage department at $600 a piece. And interested buyers have nothing to fear. The chairs have gone through a three-part treatment to remove any evidence of the bed bug occurrence. The chairs have been cooked twice at 140 degrees. That kills the live bugs as well as the eggs for the bugs as well. And then they were sprayed with diatomaceous earth and then there also has been insecticide laid throughout the entire library as well. Uh, $600 for a college student is a bit pricey, but I would, it would be nice to have one of those chairs, no doubt. The auction is open to the public till the end of the week. For Newsbreak, I'm Morgan McKenna.